In this problem, the provider has ordered Tylenol 240 milligrams PO every four hours as needed for pain. The available Tylenol concentration is 160 milligrams for every five mils. Now, how many milliliters will you administer at this concentration if you're wanting to give 240 milligrams? Now, in dimensional analysis, we start by setting up our unit path. Our given quantity in this problem is 240 milligrams of Tylenol, and we'll place that in the numerator at the beginning of the equation. Our next step is to identify our wanted quantity. In this equation, we are looking for milliliters, so our wanted quantity will be milliliters, and we'll place that at the end of the equation. We now need to identify our conversion factor. In this problem, our conversion factor is the available Tylenol concentration of 160 milligrams per 5 mils. However, we want to consider the cancellation of unwanted factors. So we need to make sure that we're putting our wanted quantity in the numerator. We've already identified that our wanted quantity is milliliters. So our concentration of 5 mils per 160 milligrams of Tylenol will become our conversion factor. There's no other conversion factor that needs to be considered in this problem, so we can now start by canceling out our unwanted units. In this problem, we're going to cancel out milligrams. This leaves us with our wanted unit in the numerator of milliliters. We now can do our multiplication of our numerator. 240 times 5 is 1,200. We'll place this in the numerator of our, of our conversion computation. Now we multiply the denominator. In this case, there's nothing to multiply 160 by, so we just carry over 160 to the denominator of the conversion computation. Now we can go ahead and solve our problem. 1,200 divided by 160 equals 7.5. We have now solved our problem. Our wanted quantity is 7.5 mils. Therefore, Tylenol 240 milligrams in an available concentration of 160 milligrams per 5 mils equals 7.5 milliliters.